Hello, I'm Sebastian. And I'm Victoria. And we are here to talk to you today about GCSE English. Hi, I'm Natasha. Hi, I'm Victoria. And we're here today to talk to you about A-level English. Hello, I'm Kian, and I'm here to talk to you about IB English. Welcome to English at Stonyhurst. At Stonyhurst, all peoples study both language and literature. Our aim is to take all of our pupils from different schools and give them the foundation they need to flourish. So pupils will also complete speaking and listening tasks, such as learning how to write and deliver a speech, and be encouraged to read a range of fiction purely for enjoyment. The thing I enjoy the most about studying English is reading poetry and discovering new books. I enjoy the wide variety of things we're able to learn about as we're able to study poetry, including plays and books. In Highline, pupils also have two options to study English, either through the IB or through A-level literature. In English, I find the books that we study very fascinating. It is great to learn about all the different types of literature there are, and it obviously helps me to become more eloquent, to understand nuances in the language, and to express myself in what I want to say. My favourite part about studying English is how although it is an inspiring and creative subject, it also allows you to develop skills that you can apply to today's society. I love becoming fully submerged in what we are reading and having the opportunity to explore texts with different and new perspectives to my own. One thing that I enjoy the most about studying English is that there is no right answer to any question based on a book. Therefore, every lesson is like a group discussion, whereby everyone in the class gets a chance to voice their opinions on the particular text or poem which we're studying at that time. The English department currently oversees a range of co-curricular activities within the college. The debating society is always popular, with two divisions for both juniors and seniors. These clubs work towards a number of prestigious competitions over the academic year. For anyone considering studying English at A-level, I would encourage them to not be put off by all the workload, which they may have been told about, as it can seem quite overwhelming at first, as it is a big jump from GCSE English. But with the great support from your teachers and the pace at which they take you through the course, you will find that the workload isn't actually as overwhelming as you imagined it to be. IB English focuses on uh, loads of global issues in literature around the world, we have explored topics such as feminism, materialism and wealth, or mental health. Uh, this is very intriguing as we not only look at English literature, but also translated texts from other languages. People's support is an enormous part of the English department's aim to help each child in our care achieve the best of their ability. As a non-native English speaker, it gives me the confidence to want to study in an international environment it definitely allows me to advance my knowledge of the English language and it helps me in my understanding of English literature. As English is not my first language, this course is helping me prepare for my future by helping me develop my fluency. English is also enabling me to freely communicate and get to know different people as we have the same language we speak in common. Our historic collections are a unique aspect of learning English at Stonyhurst. The jewel in the crown of our historic libraries is our first folio Shakespeare. Many of our pupils can say they have handled their GCSE text in its earliest form. We once examined a Jesuit priest garment that was linked to one of the poems we studied in class. It was exciting to see a historic object like this uh, stored at our school. Sony has, has provided a lot of support and help for me in the subject as the teachers at the school are always willing to help with anything and we are very lucky to have such a supportive English department. They provide extra clinic times after school where the teachers are available to go over anything you don't understand. Our classes are very small which means a lot of focused learning and one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher. As a facilitating subject, English can take you in many different directions. It is not a degree which will funnel you into a specific field, but for those of you who don't know yet what path you may wish to take in life, English will keep many doors open for you. From marketing to law to creative arts to journalism and editing, as well as a solid foundation for graduate schemes, an English degree can be a stepping stone to a fulfilling career. As a passionate musician, I find that uh, the music that I do links really well with the English that we learn about as we get to learn about playwrights uh, such as Shakespeare uh, and composers uh, such as Mozart and Handel 
and one day I hope to uh, work in the movie industry and write music for it and maybe work in a company such as Hollywood and maybe win a Tony Award one day. After studying law at university, I would like to go on to become a training solicitor and hopefully one day become a senior partner at an international law firm. My dream for the future would be to study at Stanford in America, to study economics there and then eventually after that to possibly work for big concerns such as um, Amazon, especially since they're such a global company, it'd be great to work with them. I would like to study English at a top university like St Andrews and maybe one day become a senior correspondent for the BBC.